what are the basic concepts of plumbing that are likely to show up on the exam? Well, some of them are sort of obvious, things like supply piping, waste and vent piping, uh, those sort of everyday use, uh, how you get water to the sinks and to the bathtubs and to the urinals and all of that in, in any typical building, uh, how you get the waste away from the building and where it's going to go. Uh, but there's also potential questions on rainwater issues, runoff, uh, green roofs, uh, uh, bioswales, uh, ca catchment systems, anything uh, along those sort of civil lines, civil engineering lines. You also may get questions about the utilities in the street, so what's the relationship between the sewer pipe in the street and the water main in the street? In case you are asked that question, uh, the sewer pipe in the street is always lower than the water main. Uh, the water main, uh, if it's going to leak, you don't mind if it leaks uh, to the sewer pipe. You just don't want to have the sewer pipe leaking to the water main uh, and contaminating it. So questions like that, are they in one excavation hole or are they in uh, two different excavation holes? How far apart wide should they be if they're at the same level? Uh, those are the kinds of things that would be asked of you about the kind of uh, site utilities uh, in terms of the plumbing. Uh, but there's a whole lot of other things as well. So something like, what if there aren't utilities in the street? What if there is no sewer or water main? Well, then you should be comfortable with the idea of wells and septic systems, uh, maybe even composting systems. Uh, there's a whole series of those, those kinds of issues where the bulk of the questions will definitely be, in terms of plumbing, will definitely be about uh, supply pipes and, and waste and vent pipes and the sort of typical use. They are likely to be at least a few questions that are about these other topics that are kind of revolving around the site and around uh, the building itself. Another area that's uh, ripe for questions would be fire protection which is sort of part of plumbing and sort of something different. The reason I say that is clearly fire protection, uh, if you're talking about sprinklers, is uh, very, very similar to plumbing and is done, done by people who work with pipes and work in very similar ways as plumbers. Though in actuality, they tend to not be plumbers per se. There's a whole separate trade that focuses uh, solely on sprinkler pipe systems. And so it's partially part of uh, plumbing and it's partially its, its, uh, its own animal. Uh, but fire protection issues of uh, what kind of sprinklers, how they'll work, those kinds of things are likely to be part of the exam as well. Uh, a couple of terms that are sort of worth noting, uh, the idea of gravity and slope and pressure. When we're talking about water-based systems, if we're talking about anything in terms of supply, the supply has to be pressurized. So the uh, pipe has pre water pressure in it. So there's water and that water wants to come out and it wants to move forward. So if I have uh, a pressurized pipe in the street, say, uh, and that pipe is then connected uh, through piping up to wherever I'm going up to the second floor or third floor or whatever it happens to be of my building, uh, when I turn the faucet, water's gonna come out. If that pipe in the street isn't pressurized, uh, then it's not pressurized enough, then I'm not going to get enough pressure to have the water come out. The water will just trickle out if anything comes out at all. Or for that matter, if I'm trying to go up much, much higher, maybe five stories or six stories or something, I'm not, I'm not going to have enough pressure from that pressure in the street. Uh, but this sort of concept that, uh, the, at least for the first couple of stories, the pipes are pressurized and so Therefore, the pipes can kind of go wherever you need to put them in order to get them uh, through everything else in order to get them to where they need to go. Unlike the, the waste pipes, if I'm a waste pipe coming out of a sink or any other plumbing fixture, I have to flow by gravity down to that sewer pipe in the street. So, right away you start noticing there's a difference between these, the way these things get laid out. The waste pipes uh, always go first because they have to flow by gravity, they have to be in the place that will allow that to happen, and you have to have figured out the heights to make sure that everything can fit from one end to the other and still make it into the, to the uh, plumbing in the street. Whereas the pressurized pipes can kind of fit around them and do whatever they need to do in order to get up. 
to whatever floor they're going to. Now, I want to keep the pressurized pipes as smooth a line as possible. I want to have as few bends in it as possible because I want to have as uh, little friction that's going to come. Each time I have a 90 degree corner or a 45 degree corner, I'm going to lose a little bit of uh, pressure because I'm going to lose some friction at those points. Every length, I'm going to lose a little bit of friction. So I don't want to have a lot of excessive length if I don't need it. But the idea that that is pressurized and it can be more manipulable is sort of a very useful topic to have, especially when you're trying to get around ductwork and other utilities in the space, as well as the structure and uh, all the finishes that are, that are there. So uh, the uh, supply pipes, very different from the waste pipes. The supply pipes tend to be uh, much smaller uh, because they're pressurized. The waste pipes tend to be much larger because you don't want them to clog. They have all kinds of other stuff in there. So uh, the size of the pipes is different. The sloping and the pressure is different. All of those things will start to, will start to play out in many different ways on, on the drawings and in the buildings themselves. Uh, similarly, fire protection pipes will also have that pressurized aspect to them. So they uh, have a little bit more freedom in terms of how you get the pipes to where they're gonna go. But then once you're actually placing the heads, the heads in order to get reasonable coverage will drive all the placement from there. So each of these different types of piping uh, has a different set of issues in terms of the layout and how you move from one place to another with, with the water and the waste.